am Luigi DeRose and welcome to Turkey Time. Turkey Time is a web-only, semi-live turkey hunting show that brings the pages of Ontario out of doors to life. This year we're going to go on a journey, a journey to bag turkeys in Ontario. But before we can start any season, we have to prepare. And in this episode, we're going to take you through several key elements that make hunting a success. You're going to join me with my dad as we go to the range when the snow was still up to our knee and we pattern our shotguns. One surprising problem we've encountered in the last few years while using portable blinds is that we're getting birds in super close. My dad missed an easy shot last year and we don't want that to happen again. One change we're doing to avoid this problem again is substituting our extra full turkey chokes with standard full. We're still getting great patterns out to 40 yards and super good coverage in close. Super full turkey chokes do extend your range but they prove to be difficult when you're trying to hit something mere yards away. It's best to find your gun, choke, and shell strengths and weaknesses here on the range instead of the woods. Well, we just finished exploring the land one last time and the birds are still in big winter flocks. We saw some toms and they were strutting a bit, but no gobbling. Don't get discouraged if you don't hear any gobbling or don't see a lot of bird activity. I think it's gonna be all or nothing on opening day. Now we're going to join Jeff Helston, our turkey editor, as he gives us information about decoys. This is Jeff Helston, turkey hunting editor for Ontario Editors Magazine. I'm here today to talk about decoys. The last six to ten years, reality and turkey decoys has jumped by leaps and bounds. Strutting toms like this one here have been the driver in this evolution. One problem that was seen after time though was that this bird would scare off two-year-olds and jakes. The, the idea of this bird is that it would attract the dominant toms They wanted to come in and attack it that saw this as the challenger. One way to overcome the scaring off the younger birds is to replace this tail with a jake tail and just take this, this beard, double it up, put an elastic band on it to make it shorter and then it looks like a jake beard. These new decoys have lots of features that add reality. One is, as I mentioned, this tail, which is a real tail in this one that is removable. Some of them even can, you can add a real beard or a real wings on them. The only thing missing with these ultra realistic decoys is they don't move. Many manufacturers have come up with different ways to solve that problem too. So you turn it on and hit the remote you, and you can be a few feet away and we'll turn it back and forth again to add some motion. With these ultra realistic decoys safety is more important than ever. When taking them in and out ensure that you always use the bag. A bag like this orange one is ideal you can put this in your vest so the bird won't see it or this bag is good this is a drab colored bag but it has an orange flag and sure you always put the flag on the outside or when you're going in and out you could even go to putting an orange hat on like this one so to ensure that anybody saw you when setting up with these decoys you don't want to set up on a fence row because there could be a hunter on the neighboring farm you could see your decoy not realize it's a decoy and then try and shoot it and you're nearby Decoys have come a long way since the first one I bought. Jeff's right, those strutter decoys look awesome, but you gotta be careful, safety's so important. Especially when you set them up, you gotta make sure where that bird's coming in. And you know what, sometimes they just don't work. We're gonna leave you with a hunt I did last year on opening day weekend. It was cold and crisp, but the birds were gobbling.
got my bird. Opening day weekend bird. Uh, he's kind of smashed up. I think he's been fighting with the other ones. It's been a very cold morning. Everything's frozen. I didn't expect to see this bird come in uh, at all. I was expecting birds coming from the south or even the west of me. But uh, the ground is so frozen, I heard this one and another one, his buddy, coming across the grass. And as soon as it saw this decoy, I, it just ran, 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 probably over 100 meters right, right away. And then it just stopped. And then I gave it a couple clucks. It turned, it gobbled a couple times. He's the one who caused all the other trouble. His other buddy was more spooky. But the interesting thing is too, he gobbled and then right behind me, near the car, another two birds gobbled. So I think with the cold weather, you just have to be patient. You know, the first couple hours, we didn't hear anything. The crows started to get uh, active in the morning. Normally it's uh, right at first light, they're pretty active, but today was, I guess because of the cold. My blind is completely frozen. It's like a popsicle. All the zippers are jammed and the Velcro is frozen solid. Well, good. Broke the curse. Last year was a tough year, but this year we got one. Well, that's our first episode of Turkey Time. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, we got a lot of great hunting and fishing on the web. ODMag.com. We're on Pinterest, YouTube, and of course, we're on Facebook. Good luck, and we'll see you in a couple weeks with more hunting.